Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff, your tropical plant party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I'm great. I'm back at back at Lowe's as always. This is you know home away from home. Need to pick up a timer. I don't know how much vlogging I'm going to be able to do in the next week because I'm having some issues with my computer and arguments with Dell and. It's, a, it's just a whole bunch of stuff y'all don't need to worry about, but I figured since I'm out, do a little bit of vlogging, I need to, like I said, maybe I said, I don't even know, hold on, look both ways. A timer, that's what I was going to say, I need to get a timer. Trying to, f there we go, that's what I want. Timers. Nothing fancy, just, um, not timers, remote control outlets, That that's what I'm doing here. There's something sticky on here, why is it sticky? Why do I keep touching the sticky part, what's wrong with me? nasty <sighs> the nice thing about the holidays though is that Lowe's they have a great selection of electrical type things end up well how do I how do I get over there all right just squeeze through it wasn't that big of a deal so extension cords <laughs> plugs and adapters and things like that they just they tend to be cheaper which is the opposite of how everything works during the holidays right everything seems more expensive but extension cords in particular not like those i mean yeah that's not bad though see 7.98 for a three pack that's not bad that's what i'm talking about though okay and here's here's the thing this is loud and it's messing with my head in the way of, like I've been saying, I'm not ready for the holidays. I mean, it's just October, but then that in the background, it's like how, you know, they like conspiracy theories, how they pump smells into casinos and things like that to get you revved up. Having that in the background, it's messing with my brain, and I don't appreciate it. An eight foot, I'm gonna need something bigger than that. I don't. I don't get it. What? What is this? like a window candle sticker huh okay so it just looks like okay oh <laughs> look what was directly behind me yeah see 40 foot cords for 12.97 not too bad i mean not always the highest quality cords i know you wouldn't think it matters but actually at the thicker the cord usually the more sturdy it is as far as like being able to handle high wattages and well weather obviously too so if i'm using a cord for like a heater then that's something where sometimes i'll spend a little bit more money just for safety reasons but here's 75 foot 1848 that's that is nice and cheap too bad it's a green i mean i like green but sometimes you can find brown cords and that's what i would prefer this will do See, here's brown. That's all. I just like brown a little bit better. Oh, look at them! They're ski- No, stop it. That's not what we're doing. They're saying that music, all that Christmas music, combined with all the smells and the lights, it just, it sucked me right in and brainwashed me for a See, and that's not helping with the, like, winter vibes starting to set in with me. I'm over here at PetSmart. I just need to run in there real quick and get pumpkins and cat food. Just trying to get some stuff done. I'm going to a baseball game tomorrow. And um, you're yeah, not gonna have time to do a lot of stuff because I have to do the thing. Sorry, I'm trying to turn my lights off. What's the thing? I gotta start moving plants in. I gotta get the garage prepped and everything. That's why I needed the extension cords and the timers and all those sorts of things. Basically, I was just like, let's get some stuff done so I can just have like a few days at home, you know, the weekend. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. How beautiful is this? How about that fog though? Oh, that's pretty. Very bright. Oh, I can't see anything. Is it still pretty? I hope it's still pretty. Yeah, that's better. Whoa. It's that time of year. Chilly nights and foggy water. Wow. All that fog coming up off the pool. It's one thing I like about fall. I like swimming in the foggy pool at nighttime. I have to do the thing. I just woke up. Hold on. Here we go. I have to get the palm trees ready. They're being picked up and moved into storage today. So it's just a few of them. 
just need to like, you know, get all the stuff out of the pots and move them. Typically I do this the night before they come, but instead I had other plans last night, so I was like, I'll just get up extra early and do it today. So that's what's happening. Oh, he's very thirsty. He's a thirsty Tucker. So the plan is to come up or over, come over. <laughs> the plan is to come over here, sorry, and, uh, you know, pull this guy out, bring it over here and pull the annuals out and do the same thing with the other one. Ooh. Oh, she got kind of heavy, but not too bad. Got it pulled out. Lost a few pieces of impatience in the mix, but that doesn't really matter since I'm coming in here. I'm going to cut everything out of this, get it cleaned up. I'm not going to go too overboard because it's really not necessary. But little things like getting these guys out of here is important just because I also want to make sure I can get a whole bunch of these caladiums out of here. The alakajas that are back there have been in this pot for years they always seem to do fine with being taken away and they come back so I'm not worried about those but the caladiums are potted up much more shallow and I think that they'll end up just probably falling out of the soil mix so those are good over there and uh yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the others that's pretty much all there is to it oh but real quick I do kind of have to hurry things along a little bit here I have no idea when they're coming, they just said, we'll be here Monday. I'm like, well, that's good to know, because there have been years where they didn't say they were coming, and that was <laughs> that was a problem. The, the, we had some issues with about that over the phone, and now they at least call, but um, it'd be nice to know when. So this sweet potato tuber, this is actually from the pool pots last year. It was in these pots. They were. There were multiples in these pots around the pool with the... Um, what was in these last year? Adenidias. With the Adenidias over there. Anyways, I dug them up last fall. It was in the vlogs. And I held on to a few of them. And then I just kind of dropped it in here. Didn't plant it or anything. And look at it. Look at it. It goes all the way back behind the tiki bar. Comes up. Comes around to the front door. And I actually brought this up in last week's vlog and just completely forgot to actually talk about it. But yeah, that's what that was all about. Just from... Just from setting it on here that's it that's what all this is attached to wasn't planted or anything just hanging out there on that little sweet potato vine tuber it's crazy they just they grow so well and now that robolini palm pygmy date palm this is a better look at it than i've been able to give most of the year because what well, had stuff planted in front of it so there's a update to that pot and everything that's going on there I need to come in here and you know, do what I just did with the other one. This is actually probably going to be the hardest one to get out of here because it's on top of gravel. That's going to be a little bit tricky. Okay, and now with the Robolini, I've already got the Caladiums pulled out. These guys got so stinking big. Look at how pretty the stems are. Just beautiful. I'm definitely holding on to those this winter. Now I need to get the Cordolins out. Because the thing is, the greenhouse, these go off to a big big greenhouse and they take care of the palm trees all winter they don't guarantee the stuff you plant around the bottom just to be safe i'm gonna go ahead and pull these i doubt that they've rooted in too terribly much because they haven't been in there for too long yeah that's gonna lift out fairly easily okay now for the ed and can i help you what are you doing what you doing tuck i tuck tuck that's a great shot your booty what you doing tucker yeah good boy good boy yeah love you Sometimes the vlogging confuses the dogs because they're like, oh, you're talking? You must be talking to me, right? I'm always talking to Tucker. Right, Tucker? Right, Tucker? Yeah, good boy. Good boy, Tucker. Thanks. The add an Oh my gosh, Tuck. Okay, sorry. That an idiot. I'm going to move that now. <laughs> wow. That looks so cool. That's the water on the other side of the leaves on this ludia but doesn't that look fake almost so neat i mean it's just a reflection but not a reflection a shadow a transparency that is just it looks really neat on camera cool neither here nor there though oh there's a 
somewhat better look at this Edenidia palm. It's been kind of hard to get shots of it throughout the season. And my lens keeps fogging over, so sorry the quality's been a little bit shabby up until now. These Ludias are in here, Alakaja Ludia. That's who's putting on this beautiful show here with their foliage. And uh, I had debated taking them out or not because the Alakajas over here that are in this pot have always overwintered in the greenhouse storage just fine. So I was thinking uh, I might just leave these and see how they do. I'll give them a cut back and see what happens. Or I could pull them out. The thing is, when I put these in here, they're really... Uh, oh, that's actually... That's pretty darn flimsy. I was thinking pulling these out would just shred the roots beyond repair because this pot is solid root. So it was really hard actually even getting these put in here, but that's, it's got some give to it. Maybe I should just take it out. Hmm. I don't, okay, yeah, no, those are in there. I gave them a tug. They're not coming out. My concern is that I'll end up ripping the plant from the tuber and then the, the whole thing will just be pointless. So I'm just going to leave them. I think they'll be okay. And I actually, I have others, so it's not that big of a deal. Like I, over here, I have a little tuber from another one that I've dug up. So that one should be okay. I got these little offsets out, but you can see they ripped from their tuber. So like this one right here has a little bit of bulb on it, but not very much. This one has none. So it's probably a lost cause. Maybe not. It's just since it's the off season, like they're going to stop growing now. It's not ideal for them to not have this nice big root down here. This big, you know, bulb tuber for storage. And I have others that are potted up. So it's not the end of the world. To clarify, not the end of the world that I can't get those out. That's what I mean. Because I have others. I don't know. I'm going to give it one more try with a sharp spade. But I just, I really don't want to tear them up. Well, I got one of them out of there. I'm going to go ahead and leave the other one. Then I can kind of see how it does over the winter when it's in storage. Okay, I'm making a last minute change here. They were supposed to take these four palms. Every year they take this foxtail. The thing is... This foxtail is so small. I mean, it weighs like nothing. I pick this thing up, carry it around. I really think I'm just going to have him take the three. Now, I'm just thinking out loud here. I know y'all probably don't even care about this, but the thing is, I have these two Edenidias on each side of the pool. I'm going to have to keep those in the house this year instead of in the grow space because I. it's a long story. It'll make sense when I set up the grow space. I basically, I just want the space where those would go for other things. And where I'm going to put these is alongside my staircase. And there's like a little corner in there. So I was thinking I can have an Adenidia along the wall, then the foxtail in the corner, and then another Adenidia right here. And since the foxtail is just slightly taller than the others, I think that that should work out fine. Problem, that is one ugly pot. I do not want that pot in my house. Lowe's doesn't have any more of these little blue pots. So I'm going to have to figure something out with that. So their pots may not match, but I figure it may as well save the money. It's only 15 bucks a month for each of these plants. The big one, I think, is 25 which does add up. It's a luxurious thing to do. I'm well aware this is not normal, but I'm happy to be able to do it. But still, I mean, that's going to save some money. And foxtails are pretty easy to overwinter. The main issue with them is usually spider mites. So that could end up being an issue, but I mean, that's just something some neem can fix. And like I said, it's so little, it'll be in a bigger pot. I'm going to repot it before I take it inside, or at least set it inside of a decorative pot. So if that is a problem, I can pull them out on a nice day. Usually during the winter, we get a few nicer days, and I'll be able to pull it out and do something with them. Oh, we'll see. It sounds like they're here, though. I hear a truck, so I got to run. Okay, and here's that corner, and it's kind of messy right now. I have things I'm organizing I need to put away, but like I'll have to move this grandfather clock, but otherwise I could put like an Adenidia here, one there, and maybe squeeze that foxtail in the corner. I think that would work. They're actually still here loading up the truck right now. I feel weird filming them. Ah, nuts. I was going to ask him if I could cut the flower off the Alex. It's not there anymore. I don't know what I'm pointing to. The triple trunk Alexander that had the flower. I was going to cut that off and keep it in a vase. Oh, well. No big deal. I have plenty of pictures of it. Now I just need to pot up all these guys. So, let's run to Lowe's. Pottery is on clearance. I just want to see if I can find something that I can drop this in that's going to look nice. I have to get two of them. Long story. I'll explain when we get to the nursery if they have two of something. 
I mean, I could just explain it now. I want to see these are in these blue pots, the big ceramic pots, this part right here. That doesn't go in. They go inside in the plastic pot that's sitting right there. And uh, with the amount of water these palm trees need during the winter time, there's no drainage dish that can go underneath that thing that's going to keep water from flowing all over the place. So I figured what I would do is set them inside of matching pots. So another pot that looks like the blue pot that it's in. Does that make sense? And like keep it raised up. It's still gonna look kind of junky. Like I'll throw a brick in the bottom, keep it lifted up, maybe a few bricks, and even put some air stones in there to keep the water moving, help increase humidity around the root zone. I don't know, hey look, there's my drink. Hello drink. Something like that. But because I need double the pottery, but they're on clearance, I know they don't have these blue ones, but I'm just gonna, let's go look. Ugh, these gingers. They make me so happy. Every time I walk past them, I'm just like, man, the little chunk of the islands. Oh. Hey, Toby. How you doing, bud? What you doing? Yee, so cute, Tobes. Home. I'm thinking there's not going to be very much to look at here, but we will see. Foolishly, didn't bring anything to drink with me because I was just like, oh, I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I don't know why I thought that. I don't, I'm not really doing that much anymore, like maybe twice a month, if even. It's just so expensive. And the last few times I've been, the coffee kind of sucked. They weren't getting the drinks right. So I'm like, yeah, you know what? I have a coffee maker at home, it'll save some money. Yeah, I don't think any of these are going to work, unfortunately. None of them are quite big enough. I do like this one though, right here. It's cute, but too small. Okay, this would work, but I'm not really a fan of it. And don't take that personally if you like it. Everybody has a different taste, that's okay. It just, that doesn't really go with any of my other things. It has more of a, a kind of like a country cottagey vibe to it. I wanted this one, because I have one of these that's larger, it's this one, that's just they don't have it, because I think that that's neutral, looks nice, I don't know. I wish these would go on clearance, because remember I did that one planter with these? It's like one of my favorite pots I've gotten, but it's 50 bucks, so <laughs> not getting another one until it goes on sale. <laughs> I just remembered, this vlog started at Lowe's, didn't it? <laughs> Whoops. Okay, there's just one of those blue pots, but it's being occupied. Can I just, can I take that stuff out? Can I have that pot, please? I took it. Sorry, cat. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, look what I found. I'm at a different Lowe's. Went ahead, swung by this other one. They got what I need. Yay. Oh, look how big this begonia is. Some kind of Rex begonia. Doesn't say what kind. It's pretty. Love the foliage. We have nice house plants here. I think I see a Cebu Blue Pothos up there. That's pretty, isn't it? I know y'all been telling me these aren't the easiest to find, but I'm starting to see them more. Well, this is actually only the second time I've seen them since I got mine, but I'm seeing them more from people posting them on Instagram and stuff. Mine's done well. I haven't really had to do anything with it. Been a pretty easy plant. Hey, hey, there's a good clearance price. Marked down from 69. These things though, very heavy. But if you want to do like the summer tub and stuff or some water lilies, this is fantastic. It's nice and wide and shallow. Probably gonna last longer than a real barrel. That is a good deal. No, I missed you, pumpkin. Yes, I did. Oh, you're a good bite. Such a sweet baby girl. Someone asked why I call her Bite. Her name's Pumpkin. Then sometimes I call her Pumpkin Bite. And then it just, it's, yeah. Not good reasoning behind it. Yeah, okay, love you too. Bye, Pumpkin. Not digging this big gap here. Especially because now y'all can see where I store some of my leftover stuff. I'll handle that another time. That's not important right now. Have the whole wheelbarrow full of things that needs to be handled. You good boy, Tuck. Yes, you are. You said you're a good boy. Yes, you are. Oh boy, Tucker. Oh boy. Okay, so I have some things soaking over here. Uh, the Cortland fruticasas, that is. It hasn't been long since I pulled them up, but some of their leaves got like a little bit limp, so like a 45 minute soak in some water, which was probably excessive, but I wanted to make sure that they're hydrated when I pot those up. So I'm going to do that now. 
Then I need to handle the Kalakajas and the Caladiums and the Foxtail. It's just, there's a lot. And then here's what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. Kind of the beginning, not really. With the, uh, like, setting these pots up in my foyer this way instead of using a drainage dish. I know it doesn't look great, but there's no drainage dish that's going to be big enough to go underneath these Adenidia pumps. Those Adenidias, I'm going to have to water them very, very, very heavily. And then there'll just be water all over the place. Whereas if I do this... There's a larger basin under here to collect that water. You can see, I went ahead and put some cardboard in there to lift it up a little bit. I think it's quite, that's not how I'm gonna do this, by the way, that's just for representation purposes. But I want to be up high enough so that in here, if you can even see that, there needs to be a gap so some air can get in. So it's gonna have to go up a little bit higher than that. I don't have to worry about that just yet, so. I'm not going to. I'm going to handle the task on hand, but this is just a little bit of a visual for what I was talking about before with what I plan on doing with the, you know, you, you heard me. And to get to my potting soil, I have to move the plants, but to move the plants, I really need to pot them. It, you know, just kind of created a little bit of a mess here. It's been a few hours. Um, <laughs> I thought I had more soil than I did, so I had to, I got to go back to Lowe's. I just whoops stuff happens i really thought i had more soil than i did so mixing it up have about a third of a small bag of perlite in here a bunch of orchid bark you know the drill you just mix the stuff up and put it in the things and that's how gardening happens oh i barely had enough potting soil to pull this off i only got one bag i was like just like in such a hurry i was in and out so quickly I put the cordolins together just the same way they were before, arranged together. They're fine. The uh, Leukokasha, Thai Giant, never overwinters well for me. I think it's because I never get large enough of a tuber out of the soil from them. But they don't really produce much of a tuber. It takes them a few years. So that could have something to do with it. So I actually planted this one rather shallow. You can kind of see in there so that it's not cert like seeking out the water as much. Does that make sense? It makes sense in my head. Cause like next to nothing came up with this thing as far as roots go. And I actually like went in and shoveled around the area, but the Thai giants, they just, like I said, no tuber. That's kind of common with a lot of the Kalakajas and Kalakaja hybrids, more so the hybrids that they take a few years to form a tuber. Like if they ever even do form a tuber, so that can be an issue sometimes, but I went ahead and figured I'd just pull it up just to give it a try. The, um, who are you? Ludia, Alakaja Ludia. Again, not much of a tuber there. Y'all saw at the earlier parts of this video, I wasn't working with much when I was trying to get this out of that pot, but I figured I'd just throw it in here, see how it does. Oh, I almost forgot I have all these little offsets, all these little babies. This one has a nice size bulb on it though. It should be okay. Hey, does that work? Can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> There's a hole, like, in the handle here of the wheelbarrow that went ahead kind of works. I also have a tripod. I could probably use that. That would work just as well, too. You'll see I'm leaving a little bit of that up there and exposed. I don't want water getting in there and rotting it. That's not going to be good for the plant at all. Hopefully you even heard what I just said, because I stupidly looked away from the camera while I was doing it. Then all these little guys, I'm just going to... You really shouldn't do it this way, but I'm just kind of plop them down in there. These are more than likely going to lose their leaves. They just don't like being torn up and tormented as much as they have been. But, like, you know, you saw it. I didn't have much of an area to work with, so it's hard to get much of a root mass out with these guys. So I figured, you know, may as well try, right? <laughs> it looks fantastic. That's so good. No, it was obviously sarcasm. And then all my caladiums, I mean, this is a very small fraction of my caladiums. I need to find some boxes, so I'm going to cut these up and store them in a separate video. So I'll handle that next week, or I don't, I don't know. It'll get done. And then there's, no, there's no way I have enough soil to repot the foxtail right now. But that's not a big deal. It's, not, it's, it's just a repotting. And I did just remember that I was holding on to two of these pots here to use for my front porch planters when I lift the bananas and everything out. Didn't think that one through. I don't know. I'll have to figure something out there. Yeah, here are those planters on the front porch. The front porch is just a mess from everything I've been doing. But the plan was to go ahead and pull these, uh, the Cordon Fruticosa Tiki out with the bananas and cut the impatience out and put those into those black plastic pots. 
Oh, and Frydeck, the Alakaja. Frydecks, look at how nice they're... Why are we zoomed in so far? Look at how nice those did. They did great. They're huge, very lush. Didn't even have to do anything with them, but I thought, hey, this would be nice to just throw into those black pots during the winter, because I need... These are in urns, and um, <laughs> you can't even see it under there. But I need the urns for winter time. I have stuff I do in these, so... I don't know. I'll figure something else out. And Amazon threw my package right in a puddle. That's nice. What are you doing? You gonna edit a video for me, Pumpkin? Hanging out on a laptop island? I finally got an adapter to put in the camera, so uh, it just hooks right in. Right here, goes in the battery slot and you plug it in so I don't have to worry about batteries as long as I'm not doing something where I need to walk around with the camera. Because filming in 4K, oh, it, the, the battery life for the A7S II sucks. It's terrible. Filming in 4K, it's even worse. It's just ridiculous. So this is going to help so much with that. I don't understand. It was it was expensive. And I was like, well, it'll be worth it in the long run. But like once I got home and I can feel it like, this is cheap. It doesn't feel nice at all. And um, I don't know. I could see 30, 40 bucks, but not what Sony was charging for that. Like that, I don't, I don't understand why. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand a lot of things, though. And then I got a cord to hook my camera up to a monitor. Now, I've tried four other cords, and they haven't worked, so hopefully this one will. I keep getting feedback. Like, I'll hook it up to a monitor so I can see, like, on a big screen what's in focus and how things are looking. And I would potentially be able to stand in front of the camera if I could do that, because the Sony, the kit, this uh, the A7 II... That's as far as that goes. You can't see what's going on from in front of the camera. The A7 III, you can flip it up, though. It's pretty small. I'm not sure how useful that is, though. So. so with this, that should fix that problem as long as I don't get feedback. All the other cords, I hook them in, I hook them to a monitor, and there's, like, this loud noise that interferes with my mic. Whether I'm using my Rode mic or a lav mic, it doesn't, doesn't seem to work out. I've had to send a lot of things back. Okay, that was fun. Did you enjoy the little technology Side I thought Pumpkin was here. I wasn't just trying to show you the floor. Look at this casserole dish I picked up. Isn't that cute? They had these at Sur Le Table many years ago. I'm sure they still have them. But um, they were insanely expensive, so I never got one. But then I found this at Home Goods, and I was like, oh, okay. The problem is, though, they had two different ones, and I swapped them out last minute because I liked this one better as a darker orange. And this one doesn't say, yeah, see, $16.99, real cheap. Doesn't say that it's oven safe. So I'm a little bit nervous, because the other one actually said it was safe to use in the oven. I don't know about this one. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up, or maybe just go back and see if I can exchange it for the one that was oven safe. And then I did come over here and I threw a few plants in where that Robolini palm was. I'll have to do some other things, but that was just bugging me having that one in the background then I brought my Monstera over here because I was just like I need to have a better look at this guy I couldn't really see it all that well where it was I wanted to be able to appreciate it a little bit more I actually I'm gonna have to repot this again I know I just repotted this back in what February or March I did a video on it but it's just it has gotten absolutely massive I knew it had grown a lot it's just when it's over here on this light pole I'm like oh my gosh like this thing it's huge. I mean, they get a lot bigger than this, but it's it's gotten some big leaves on it. This isn't even what, like that one back there is even bigger. So, um, yeah, I need to do some things with it, get it put up on a new stake and all kinds of fun stuff there. That'll hopefully stop shaking. I don't know why the lens is shaking like that. Hold on. Still trying to figure out some things with the settings and playing around with uh, options and whatnot. So, Things are a little shaky. My audio is a little funky. Sorry. Uh, my mic I use for my old camera doesn't work with this one for some reason. Don't know what that's about. So, yeah. Look at that. It looks so good. People I have asked me oftentimes for cuttings. I just gonna put it out there. I don't do that just because I don't want to cut my plant up. I've been trying to get this really big. I've had it for a long time and I just I don't, don't really want to chop it up. So, I'm sorry. I know these are... A hot commodity. Remember, I only paid like $44, $45 for this, but it was before they became trendy, and that was still a good deal for it. But, I mean, the prices now are just absolutely ridiculous. And mine doesn't even have, like, the most amazing variegation on it. I mean, every leaf is different, but that's probably the best one it's had in a long time. 
but I don't care because I just liked it because it was a Monstera. And then when I was like, I'm going to get a Monstera. And then I got on the internet and I was like, oh, I should get a variegated Monstera because they, the prices were like higher, but 45 bucks for a house plant, not too bad. <laughs> right? Like that's not horrible. But these prices for nowadays, uh-uh. Yeah, it is looking real nice though. So my plan with that had been to stake it up onto a PVC. And I know I talked about this over the summer and I never did it. And that's because it was just doing so well where it was. I didn't want to mess with it and do any harm to the plant really. But now it actually needs a really strong support. And you can just use a wood plank. They don't have to be PVC. Um, in fact, I'm going to have to wrap this in something because I don't, if, if this were to stay wet, I'm pretty sure the roots would adhere, but I'm not going to be keeping it wet all the time. So I'm going to have to like glue some coconut fiber to it or I don't know. People do that foam stuff. I wonder how that would work. I'd probably just use coconut fiber. I'm fine with that and it'll be a lot more sturdy that way. And you know, just do the whole thing. This doesn't quite fit the bottom of this pot, so I might have to try something different, but I think that's going to be like the most sturdy support I can use other than like a wood plank. It's just my hope is that when I repot it into this, I can keep it in there for like a year and a half, two years and let it do its thing. And with the humidity and the sprayers and everything, when I use uh, wooden stakes, they just don't last very long. And I don't want to have it fall over essentially. So that's the whole point of the, of all the, how did this happen? How did we get here? Just random updates. That's all. And I really like that. Wow, look how bare it is over there without that big Alexander palm. Anyways, I like the idea of using the PVC because I can put a coupler at the top and add more pipe when I want to make it bigger. Because the Monstera as it is, it's already going to use the majority of that pole. It's not much shorter than that piece of PVC. So I like the idea of as it grows, being able to pop the cap off and make it taller. I want to grow it up as tall as I possibly can and I won't really be able to do that if I have to rip it off of a wooden support every now and then to add. Although I guess you could just like attach another wooden support behind and make a brace. That'd be the same difference, right? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I like the idea of using PVC. Oh, I wish it would stay light out getting dark so early. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up. I know it was a chaotic vlog, but I wasn't even sure if there was gonna be a vlog this weekend. Um, but there was enough going on where I thought I'd go ahead and bring everybody along, get some stuff done. And um, last week's vlog was like an hour and 20 minutes almost. So I'm gonna keep them short for a couple weeks. I'm trying to rest my voice, long story. Just been a lot of screaming and yelling. All the Cardinals games, I had tickets for the game Friday, which would be the day before this video. But I mean, Nationals, man, oh, they're good. So there's no game to go to. That's okay, though. I'm actually really excited for Nationals and uh, DC because their first time going postseason into the World Series. So that's amazing. And they deserve to be where they are. They played phenomenally. So it's exciting. But still, it's like, you know when you finish a video game or a book or something you've been doing for a long time and then it's like, oh, wait, now what do I do with my life? <laughs> that's how it is with baseball right now. I'm like, I don't, what am I going to do? Well, there's plenty to do. So... There will be more going on the vlog next week. I don't know how much. Things are, the weather's like at a standstill where I don't have a ton I can do. So it's mostly just a lot of prep, which is what you all saw a lot of this week. So I don't know. We'll see. But I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life. Everything's going beautifully for you. I can rattle that out so fast now. Don't take that to mean that I don't mean it. I, of course, mean it. And things get so grainy when it gets dark out that I know a lot of y'all have already had to bring your plants in like a long time ago. So I'm grateful to still be outside and getting to play with them, even if it's only for like another week or two. Still nice to be outside doing some stuff, even if it's a little bit chilly. Uh, you know the drill, you can give the video a thumbs up, makes a big difference for the videos and for the channel, and I thank you for that, and subscribe as well, and hit the notification bell, that way you'll know when new videos come out. Or, it's when you should know videos come out, I don't, I don't think it always tells people. Yeah, time to go, oh, let me know what you think about the PVC pipe. You think I should go with just like coconut fiber? I have plenty. It'd be pretty easy to adhere that onto there, or try the foam. You know what I'm talking about, how people use that foam in terrariums? and uh, vines and things will still climb on it, so I could give that a shot, I don't know. I already have the coconut fiber, so I'd really rather just use that, but it could be fun to try it out with the foam. Oh, 
You know, it looks better out here than it did this morning. I mean, it was a mess, but man, there's still a lot of cleaning to do. But consider what's been going on today. I mean, it's just been yanking plants and repotting things and been a lot. Well, like I said, hope y'all are doing well. All my social media is linked down below in the description of the video. I'm on Instagram way more than anything else. Why is my hand up here? I don't know. It just kind of happened. All right. Time to go. As always and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.